You've I've got... had the great pleasure recently of renewing acquaintance with a dear friend, Woody Woodbury. Bless your heart. Because some years ago, we won't say how many, uh, I set celebrities for Woody's talk show, the Woody Woodbury show that was syndicated all over the country by our friend Ralph Edwards. That's and right. it was such a pleasure to work with you. Oh, you're such a darling. This girl, uh, I must interject this, this girl brought more talent to the show. And, and I not only say that, but the talent went on to become huge box office stars, like Natalie Cole, um, Strawberry Alarm Clock, and, and actors and actresses. Uh, so many, yeah. it's hard to remember uh, just a few. Right there. Anyhow, ask me anything you want to ask me. What have you been doing since I saw you? Absolutely last nothing. No. <laughs> well, I do know you had rather a nice association with Perry Como. Oh, yeah, I was with Perry for 26 years at, at Duke University alone in North Carolina. But uh, I was here in, uh, out here, I come out to do the show for Ralph's company. Ralph Edwards Productions, and we had a wonderful time. Was here a couple of years, and then I had a business in Florida. And when you have a business where there's a lot of cash at hand, you have to be there. Oh yes. And that's why I returned to Florida. But I do love California, and I, we have such a good time. We come out here as often as we can. I just love Los Angeles. I like San Francisco. I love San Diego. In fact, I'm doing a thing tomorrow with the Marines down at uh, Miramar. I was a Marine for a lot of years. But I don't want to usurp this conversation, so ask me anything you want to. But, but I'm so taken with you. You're the perfect person to uh, the interview because it's, I can just give you a little clue and uh, you're off and running. Yeah, I don't know. It's just that we had such a great time out here and people were so great. And I had such a great... They weren't my staff, they were the Ralph Edwards staff, but they worked the show. And when I stop and look back, the director of the show was Jim Jordan Jr. And Jim Jordan was Fibber McGee. Yeah and Molly, and they lived on Wistful Vista, if you remember. I think that was in Toluca Lake, wasn't it? I, I think so. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, and Jim was the director of the show, and we had great producers of the show. We had great musicians. Joe Pass, probably the world, one of the world's great guitarists, uh, he was in the orchestra, and, and uh, these guys went on to great heights. I got every album that Joe Pass made. He sent them to me in Florida. And I just made a lot of great friends out here, and Rose Marie uh, and Dennis James wrote from the Dick Van Dyke show, Rose Marie, and Dennis James was on the show, and Foster Brooks, and so many people were on the show, and, and uh, um, Ken Berry. In fact, I sold my house in Toluca Lake to Ken Berry. But that's a whole other story. But I'm, yes. you know, I've had a wonderful show business life. I've been in entertainment all my life, and. And you mentioned uh, Perry. I was with him for a lot of years, and I worked with Bob Hope. I was lucky enough, and I was lucky enough to sit in with Milt Josephsberg and Sam Perrin when they were the top writers for the Jack Benny Show. And I'm sure, Lucky, you know those guys. Oh yes. Yeah. We're talking. He's talking to my husband, Lucky Brown. Yes, and I'm the only one who will ever talk to him anymore. I want you to know that. <laughs> yes. What you don't want to do is give him a chance to start talking, oh, and then we won't talk uh, anymore. That's terrific. I love talking to him. But I've had I've had a wonderful life, and and I just have worked with so many people, and I do used to do a routine. In fact, I still do it now and again. We're I was playing golf with, and I'm not a name dropper, but I will here. I'm playing golf with Bob Hope, and uh, Mickey Mantle, and uh, uh, Sam Snead. And we're walking down. We were playing the desert uh, at the at the desert uh, in Palm Springs. We're walking down the second fairway, and I turned to Bob Hope. I said, "How does it make you?" And I, you know, he was my hero at that time. I said, "How does it make you feel when you walk out on the stage before you ever open your mouth, before you ever say a word?" People start applauding and cheering and clapping. And I said, "How does it make you feel deep in your heart?" And Bob Hope looked at me right in the eyes. He said, "Woody, you will never know." <laughs> Oh. And I've always, <laughs> I've always remembered that. <laughs>